This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. Just when we thought this whole band hammer thing couldn't get any worse from Activision, they went and literally dug themselves a deeper hole. The drama is mounting in this band hammer thing, so I figured I'd want to give you guys an update after what Mr. Raffle Waffles posted on his channel today. So I figured we should summarize exactly kind of what Milo talks about in his video and what this means for you guys specifically, because obviously it's for you guys that this matters. And boy, is this only getting worse. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Spesh. So let's first off just show what Milo said in his video. Activision can confirm that all bans given out are legitimate. Now, the implication here, moving away from Activision's language and moving to my own, okay, is that they are only giving bans to people that deserve bans. They are not giving bans to people that happen to have been hit with this bug. And so this kind of goes alongside what Fox was saying about how the banned message isn't a product of the disconnect message, which is the sale 630. It's just that when you get banned, you obviously get disconnected. And so you see that same error that you could also get in other circumstances. Wow. Okay. There is a lot to take in here. So first and foremost, Basically, Activision is saying that all of these bands are legitimate. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Instead of saying, hey, yeah, we realize this is a problem. We realize that, you know, you know, something was going wrong here. They're like, nope, these people that are getting banned, they deserve it. They literally cheated. They glitched. They did all this other stuff. And I just don't believe them. I've had plenty of people just in my comment section on the ban, on the ban hammer video talking about how they were banned for no reason whatsoever. They've never cheated all this good stuff. Activision, there is no way that this many people have hacks and have been cheating inside of Cold War Zombies. Now, similar to what Milo said in his video, I am in no way, shape, or form vouching for Activision here. They messed up, and they're not going to admit it. They're not going to admit one bit that they messed up. It's actually, honestly, kind of ridiculous that this is a problem. Activision isn't even like saying that they know it's a problem. They're just saying, nope, we're right. You guys are wrong. That's the way it is. It kind of reminds me of my mom, honestly. Love you, mom. So another interesting thing that Milo was talking about is that people were receiving the nuclear bug message, but they weren't getting banned. So the message that people are receiving, it's not causing the ban. It is directly a disconnect result from the ban. But I mean, honestly, who really cares? So basically, another thing that Activision did by saying this is they basically bashed on every single person that got banned. Every single person that got banned in this little banning incident, they're basically saying, you're a cheater, you cheated, like your gameplay is not legitimate. And there are a lot of prominent like zombies players, like world record holders for different things that have been banned because of this, like high round guys, they've been banned because of this. And now Activision is saying, yo, you're a cheater. And it's just, I mean, First of all, it's not fair. It's almost quite literally like defamation. Like, it's exactly what it is. It, like, there is a defamation case here that, that can be made against Activision, especially when they realize that they did mess up and that, like, not not there's no possible way that all these people were cheating. It's just not possible. There There is a defamation case here that could be made about all these prominent zombies YouTubers and just players in general that have reached high rounds legitimately and that now basically they're looked at by their community as cheaters. Now, Mr. Raffle Waffles looked at this part in his video as well, but I wanna read it back to you just like he did. Now, this is Kobe Harrison. He has multiple records on Outbreak for getting to high rounds, and this is what he said after he was banned from Call of Duty Online. Thanks for the support, guys. I don't give an F about this game anymore, to be honest, so I don't care if it gets fixed, but here's the full VOD for Treyarch to see as clear-cut proof I, I am not a cheater and that I was unfairly banned just like every mother effer on here. Go get him, Kobe. The VOD also shows the aftermath where I am truly permanently banned from Cold War on Battle.net. Your move, Treyarch. Now, nobody tell Dr. Toffin 115 that this guy was calling out Treyarch instead of Activision. He'll lose his mind. But quite literally, it is so unfair to guys like him that are having to deal with this, especially if Treyarch later comes out and said, and retracts their statement saying, yes, we messed up. There was a problem. This is our fault. Like there is straight up a defamation case here that they need that they need to take into account. And like, let's say, for example, I mean, it's highly unlikely, but even Milo, like Mr. Rafa Waffles, your biggest YouTuber, your biggest storyline guy, 
Like, Mr. Raffle Waffles is literally scared to play your game right now because he has a VPN on his computer. And I also want to give a shout out to Christian Hernandez on my comment section from that. He may have seen this in Milo's video, but I want to give a big shout out for him telling me about that as like, if you have a VPN, maybe Activision is seeing that as like a cheat system. And if that is the case, that is the biggest BS I've ever seen. Like if this is being flagged in their system, if a VPN is being flagged in their system as an as a cheat, and then they also like run around saying, oh no, this isn't a problem. Everyone that's getting banned is legitimate. It's just, it's just, that's just not how it can be chief. So anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on kind of what is going on and then what we know right now. Once everything is resolved, I am going to make a video on it. Uh, if you do want to stay up to date with everything that's going on with this situation, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I hope you guys have a great yesterday and I'll see you soon.